it's a book shopping day. So later on, I have to be downtown for my book club for Crying in H Mart, which I still have like 80 pages left of. So I am currently at a new coffee shop that I've not tried yet to grab coffee and lunch before I go book shopping. Hopefully I'll finish this. And I'm actually so excited because I usually go to that one like massive warehouse of a used bookstore called McKay's that's down here, which I might end up going tomorrow because I do have some books I need to unhaul. But I was thinking, you know, I always find a cute new coffee shop that I haven't tried out yet. And I've never even thought to do that for bookstores. I found one. I found a really cute one. So I hope that it has something I'm looking for. Basically the only must gets for today and or tomorrow. I want to read a dark academia book so bad. I am craving reading Ninth House. But someone commented and made a good point because the second one's coming out this fall, I think. So I'm going to wait for that one. So instead, curb my dark academia hunger. <laughs> I think I want to get The Secret History because I feel like that's just like the dark academia book. You know what I mean? It just, it feels right. But besides that, I need to get the second book of, what is it? Throne of Glass. I'm only like halfway through the first one, but I know I'm gonna read the second one anyway. Might as well get it. And then I think the classic that I wanna read for this month after I finish Crime and Punishment, yes, I'm behind. Don't yell at me. Uh, I think I wanna do Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre? Question mark. But anyways, I'm starving. It's so hot in my car. I'm gonna go read and get some lunch. Okay, I hope you could see it good. <laughs> I tried to film so inconspicuously. Did it work? I don't know, but I just didn't make eye contact with people. So I hope that you could see how freaking cute that bookstore was. Uh, uh, yeah, I love it. Also, they were setting up for an event for like some author to come and sign books and do a whole little book talk, I guess. That's so cute. I wanna go to one. Honestly, I think I would have stayed if I would have had more time. 
also they have like just hella dogs hanging out in there so i guess just like the people that work in there just bring their dogs and it was so sweet ah, i'm gonna cry i love it so i did end up finding the secret history there it's so much tinier than i thought it was gonna be i've only seen the hardcover but i do i do really appreciate the aesthetic of this and y'all know how i'm picky with book covers look how aesthetic this is yes who did this done a tart you get it so really all that i've heard about this book is that it's dark academia and it's like the dark academia book so let's read the synopsis let's see what she's about okay so the synopsis is actually a paragraph which honestly i can appreciate because usually i won't read the whole thing but it says under the influence of their charismatic classics professor a group of clever eccentric misfits at an elite new england college discover a way of thinking and living that is a world away from the humdrum existence of their contemporaries but when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality and they slip gradually from obsession to corruption and betrayal and at last inexorably into evil tea okay yeah i'm very intrigued oh my gosh how long has this book been out 1992 the amount of hype that i've seen for this book recently i thought that this came out within the past five years she's a classic or whatever it also says author of the goldfinch which i did see a few copies of this next to this book but they were all hardback. Should I read that? If you've read The Goldfinch by her, let me know your thoughts because I've really only heard about this one, but apparently the other one was, you know, awarded and such. So, could be good. But yeah, I definitely don't even have a watch on right now. <laughs> I definitely don't have time to do any more book shopping for today. So I'm gonna go tomorrow, finish the rest of it. But now I'm about to leave for my book club, which if you didn't know, now you know. We kind of also use it as a mini wine club. So we'll pick like a specific wine and learn about the wine while we talk about the book. So it's pretty fun. But for this one, since we read Crying in H Mart, which I literally have like 20 pages left. So on top of talking about the book, we're also gonna have some Korean snacks, which I think is gonna be so nice. Cause throughout the book, she talks about all like a ton of the food and stuff that her and her mom would make, traditional Korean dishes, how much she connected with her over the food that they ate and stuff. So I think that that's just gonna be so fitting. But yeah, I gotta stop rambling cause I'll be late again. What's new? Alright, I've read like a hundred pages of Throne of Glass, so I definitely need to get the next one soon. Okay, today. We're going to Barnes & Noble. I'm excited. I love Barnes & Noble. Literally nothing can compare to the smell of books in Barnes & Noble. Let me know if anyone else has a like euphoric experience walking into Barnes & Noble. Because relatable.
was successful. Barnes & Noble has so much more stuff now. I'm so proud of them. They have all the Zodiac Academies now, which I need to read those because Carly, that you guys met in the My Boston vlog, loves the Zodiac Academy. I just need to experience that with her, you know what I mean? But mm, I might have changed my mind a little bit. So I did end up getting Crown of Midnight, which is the second book of Throne of Glass. I had to look up again. I swear there's a million different orders to read the series in and it really confuses me. The books individually were set up in order and this was the second one so I was like okay cool this is the second one but then I look next to it and they have like a box set wrapped up and then this was the first book in that one. Why? That does not make sense to me. And then the prequel usually people put it obviously at the beginning or at the end but then it was like the third one? I'm confused. So if you have a recommendation on order, please let me know. But I'm excited to start reading it. Honestly, I'll probably finish the first one tomorrow. So then I was planning on getting Jane Eyre, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And then I realized that it was written by, I'm pretty sure it's Emily Bronte. But then I realized that's who wrote Wuthering Heights. I have a beautiful copy of it. I have tried several times. Still could not tell you what it's about. Maybe one day, but right now, no. So that kind of scared me away from that one. So instead, I was looking at Jane Austen. Um, so I got Emma, which I know is a, one of her like top six books that she's written. I genuinely, I don't know anything about this book, but I liked the spine and I liked the cover kind of makes me feel like a European girly, I don't know. So I go, oh cool, you know what? Maybe I should read the synopsis on the back. That could be helpful. This isn't really a synopsis, but I'm gonna read it anyway. Although described by Jane Austen as a character whom no one but myself will much like, the irrepressible Emma Woodhouse is one of the most beloved heroines. Clever, rich, and beautiful, she sees no need for marriage, but she loves interfering in the romantic lives of others until her matchmaking plans unravel with consequences that she never expected. Jane Austen's novel of youthful exuberance and gradual self-knowledge is a brilliant, sparkling, comic masterpiece. I think Emma might be me. What a coincidence. I love that I just got that on a whim and it's me and it's my aesthetic. Jane Austen, you get me. So I was also looking at The Count of Monte Cristo because that seems like vibes. Uh, but yeah, it was like <laughs> over a thousand pages. So I kind of thinking maybe my plan is read this one and then read that one. Cause right now it's taken me a while to get through Crime and Punishment. I'm liking it quite a bit, but it's taking a while. I just want to read Literally for the rest of the night, um, which I might. Okay, so I figured I'd vlog the last little chunk reading the end of Throne of Glass book one because obviously I just got book two, but I have like 80 pages left. I'm about to go to the pool. Hopefully finish it there. This is the outfit. The orange is kind of throwing off the whole monochrome vibe, but close enough. book shopping like every week because I think I'm gonna read through them so fast but yeah if you're definitely wanting like dystopian YA era type of vibes definitely read this series 
I act like I've read them all, <laughs> but the first one. Obviously she wrote A Court of Thorns and Roses. This feels like if you mixed A Court of Thorns and Roses with The Hunger Games, kind of. And then maybe a little bit of the selection, I don't know. But if she was an assassin. Mm, yeah, I think that's it though. I'll see you later.